Welcome to the Patricia Jo Grover Show, where we turn believers into achievers. And today, my guest is Dr. Jill Briska. Um, she's the triad of health. So let me, that, that's um, her title. So let me tell you a little bit about Dr. Jill. She earned her bachelor's of science degree in biological sciences before going on to graduate with a doctor of chiropractic, chiropractic medicine from the University of Health Sciences. And she is a bio cybernetic practitioner and trained personally with the inventor of CyberScan, and that's a cybernetic biofeedback program. Other trainings she has completed include acupuncture, addition, yeah, additionology. Arbor, addictionology. Uh, okay, I'll let you say these words then because <laughs> I. I, I Auriculotherapy. 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 Yeah, okay. Applied kinesiology and visceral adjusting. Her passion yeah. is energy medicine, and she believes that balancing the body's vibrational frequencies will restore our health chemically, structurally, and emotionally. She loves to learn and will never stop searching for the therapies and diagnostic tools that can help someone on their path to healing. She's continually looking for new therapies to add to her toolbox based on the success of other physicians worldwide. She believes wholeheartedly that we each heal can heal ourselves. So welcome to the show, Dr. Jill. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that's a mouthful to all those words. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fantastic though. That that's terrific. Yeah. Well, you know, I love like it said, I love learning and I will take a class, you know, oh, that sounds interesting. That sounds interesting. So it has kind of given me a, a broad um, spectrum of things to look at. I mean, I'm a chiropractor, but I actually don't even work with musculoskeletal. Like I don't really adjust anymore. Everything that I do is I work more with chronic illnesses and addictions and things like that. Fantastic. Fantastic. Well, but you'd still know and you still, you would send people for adjustments because you know Absolutely. the benefits. Absolutely. Totally. Yes. Yes. I um, do believe that nice, um, you know, maintenance. I believe I'm a big believer in maintenance. Like we really should, um, hopefully it'll change one of these days that they'll cover wellness care better than they will. Like you have to get sick and then you can get it taken care of. I think they're getting better. It's getting better as we go along. Exactly, exactly. I, I wholeheartedly am a believer in, in chiropractic work. You know, um, I had once I once I had it and the difference that it made for me, um, I, I, you know, couldn't say enough about it. And I told my I told my husband about it. And he said, Oh, that's, you know, he he was like, Oh, no, yeah, whatever. And until he started having it done. And then I, I, I said, Well, I have become a crack addict. And what I said, is <laughs> getting, you know, get, just the feeling that, you know, that it gave me to be able to be back in linemen. So and when yeah. when you connect everything else that you're doing with that, it, I, I can just see the whole benefit of the total health. And like you said, the whole raising of the vibration, everything just ties together so perfectly. So I'm so excited to find out more about what you're doing. Yeah. There's lots of tools, you know, like uh, if you only have one tool, you, or they, what do they say? Like if, if you only have a hammer, everything looks like a nail uh, to you. So instead, I think it would be better if we kind of embrace that there's a whole spectrum of of all different types of things, you know, the, the toolbox is full of all these different things that we can use uh, to help us, you know, stay healthy. And, you know, it crosses like allopathic and the alternative. Sometimes there's, there's time for each of them. So, but chiropractic, yeah. yes, I love it. I love it. Yeah. It, uh, it really um, has a broad spectrum for my license. So it allows me to do a lot of these different things yeah and that's fantastic and again uh and jill if you if you're not familiar what i teach my clients is i teach to put themselves first and and that <laughs> starts with health and and it's not just you know when i say health that's your physical health but that's also your spiritual health your mental health your financial health you know all those things so what you're doing with people is that's all 
you know, has to do with definitely with their health and, and you're doing it coming up about it from so many different ways. So that's fantastic. I'm excited to, to get answers oh, for you. people. Yeah. So that idea that, you know, that you're teaching your clients to look at what health is as a bigger picture than just, you know, your blood pressure is good and you're keeping your weight at a, right, you know, and you, and you work, you know, you do some exercise. It's so much more in that's, um, you know, the triad of health that I talk about it's not an, um, necessarily an original idea that I came up with. It's something that I was, I was uh, taught along the way, but a lot of people are embracing that whole, that health is more than just the My, basics. It's mind, body, and spirit. Mind, body, spirit. Yeah. Yes. Fantastic. So I have some questions for you. So tell me about your King T. Soin? Kintsugi. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. That's okay. Um, Kintsugi is a Japanese art, an ancient Japanese art, where they would take uh, broken pottery and then they would uh, mend it with gold. And so it became <clears throat> that uh, instead of it just being something broken and thrown away, it is um, more valuable for having been broken and it's more beautiful and it, it will never break the same way again. So it's kind of, when I saw that, I was like, that's us, that's us as human beings. And, um, you know, we should not only um, try to cover up our scars, you know, like be ashamed of them, right. but to embrace them and then they become who we are. Like it's a full, um, yes. it makes you richer and more beautiful for all, for having gone through these things. And sometimes they're inside scars you know, that you don't see, but by sharing and, um, you know, people can see and you can share all your knowledge and what you've been through. It's, I, I love it. Yes. <laughs> Obviously I'm not Japanese. And I think sometimes with the name of the business, sometimes people are some expecting someone else, <laughs> but, <laughs> but it's, it's, it's embracing, it it's a, right. But it's embracing that culture's philosophy and, oh. and just spreading it because it is such wonderful, um, there's, there's so much knowledge that comes from that wisdom and, and that's what it's all about. Fantastic. So what is the triad of health? What, what is your, how you use it and explain the triad of health? Okay. So, um, it started with just, you picture a triangle and there's three equal sides. One is not more important than the other one balance. And so it's structure, which is exercising, getting adjusting, you know, making sure that you are phys taking care of the physical body. Then there's chemical, which is what you put in your body. What are you exposed to? You know, identify the things that could be problematic for you. <clears throat> and then the uh, base is uh, emotional. And then the emotional health, of course, is, you know, it, it's, it's beyond thinking positive. It's, it's kind of looking really, um, uh, you know, taking care of yeah, yourself deeply within that putting yourself first, because you can't give to anyone else before you are, you have what you need emotionally. So, but what makes that triad of health, what brings it to the next level for me is, uh, is adding that energetic component because the, uh, the cells, the way I understand it, um, uh, and it's based on like quantum physics is that energy in our bodies, the frequencies and everything has frequency, everything in this world. I mean, like a chair, yes. you know, is vibrating and holding its shape and has a frequency. And, but when you add the energetic component to these things, it really brings it to a new, uh, like an ultimate level of health because you're identifying something that is not always addressed. But I think in, we just know as human beings that our emotions and, um, create things, you yeah. know, that uh, psychosomatic should not be poo-pooed or the placebo effect should not be poo-pooed. How powerful is the mind and how you feel about something which causes an energetic, you know, um, manifestation of things. Exactly. So that's, that's what the triad started with. And the energetic component is where I really kind of bring that up to the next. That's exciting. You know, that's uh, so wonderful. Awesome. Awesome. Yeah. Again, that is. And people, that's where you're, you're focusing on that area of people's lives and it's such a benefit. So fantastic. Great to get your information out here. 
So tell me about how the great panacea came about. Did I pronounce so the that great right? Panis- Panacea. The Great Panacea is uh, that's okay. The Great uh, Panacea is um, the Greek goddess of cure alls, and when the more I got into energy medicine, and maybe we'll talk about like because I was just like this muscle is innervated by this nerve, and this is what exercise you need to do, and this is the way you adjust it, and very much more linear in my thinking. And then I got sick, and so it, I really had to open, broaden my, uh, what I would do, you know, like open my mind. So that's where energy medicine came. But a cure-all, the panacea is um, based on that Greek mythology panacea. But I believe that we are the great panacea because the title of the book is the great panacea, what you think, uh, what you think you feel and what you feel you vibrate and what you vibrate you create. So we are um, very powerful uh, healers. Yes. Time and a place for extra help, of course, but it really does start with with us. And we are we have so much uh, more power or control in how our health and life in general, our career, our relationships, everything when we start looking as we are, it's how we think and feel and vibrate and create things. And it can be good or it could be not so good. Exactly, exactly. Fantastic, fantastic. And what does the Flourish Quantum Healing System do for clients? Oh, okay. So um, I, when I first started with energy medicine, I started with something called NATE, N-A-E-T. And um, I would do it in the office, and I loved it. But then I was introduced to the bio-cybernetic medicine, and it just was a whole different thing. So I had this, all these things that I knew worked, but they're much more, um, you know, it's hands-on, and you have to come in repeatedly and things like that. And so I decided to take that system that I was using in the office and make it a home system for people that are going through right now. I have um, two, two sections of the flourish quantum healing system. And one is for addiction. And so when someone is going through rehab or they're have, they're struggling with their addiction, I had food addiction. I was uh, bulimic for many, many years. And so, you know, addiction, you know, I have some experience with those kind of things, right. uh, but, there's when you're going through your uh, rehab or you're trying you don't want to go to rehab but you want to do something it's a system that incorporates all these different things that i've learned plus the nate uh energy healing that you can do for yourself it empowers the person you know to help them through their their path to recovery then the other one is um, for chemotherapy and radiation. So when they're going through their oncology, you know, they're going through their treatments, you can't give anyone supplements. No, their no. doctors okay. have them on a very, very strict protocol. Uh, you know, you want them to get their food, get their nutrients from their food and everything. That There are things that they can do naturally that can help balance the body as they're going through the chemotherapy. So those are the two things that I'm doing now. And both of those are home, home systems. Fantastic. And can you tell me, because I do have personally in my family and in my close friends, um, I do have people that are actually going through chemotherapy and different Mm -hmm. things right now. Um, Can you just share a couple of those things that, um, that you do for people like that? So, um, well, I have a, a patient that I was treating with the cyber scan, the, the bio cybernetic medicine. And he, uh, if something shows up as questionable, you know, a problem shows up three times in a row, that's when I say, it's time for you to get to the doctor. You may need some blood work. There's something going on here. Why don't you go in? And so he did, and they caught his prostate cancer early, very, very early. So now cyber scan isn't something that you can do while you're going through radiation okay. therapy. It, something with the it's a precursor. It's a precursor and it helps to catch things early. Okay. I just yes. wanted to I mean, clarify that. a lot that. of different things, but that was something that we, I noted on his scans. 
Okay. So he did, and here, there he is. And so the chemotherapy um, radiation protocol or the system I designed for him. And I also work with a chemotherapy group, like a, um, it's called chemo, um, chemo Buddies for Life. Mm -hmm. And these people, you know, they're just so lovely. I just love them. There's just like one big warm hug, but they're supporting yeah. each other through chemotherapy. So it was yeah. between my patient and this, um, uh, this group that I'm like, I want to come up with something that they can do. And so I, I uh, got a lot of information on what are your doctors saying? What were they, what is okay? What's not okay? Let's, let's work this so that you have something that you can help yourself, but not Contra be contraindicated with your doctors or do anything that would contraindicate with the medication. Right. Treatment. Right. Okay. So that's what it is. It's a, it, you know, they get it, they get to take it home, you know, it's sent to them and uh, then they do it as needed. It's, you know, they could probably do it every two days is really, you know, the ideal, but you know, if they're having nausea, there's, there's symptoms of, uh, or, you know, the metallic taste in their mouth, you know, sometimes they'll end up having, um, you know, bone pain, you know, from the marrow. Uh, it, it's a lot of right. things. So right. that's how it was designed around was to help those, those symptoms, but to also help the 12 systems of the body to better communicate with the, with each other so that it can keep up with what needs to, what's coming in and still stay, you know, uh, okay. balanced. Okay. All right. That, that's good. That gives me, you know, some information and hopefully our viewers with, watching and listening to this can, can pick some things up from there to be able to reach out to you if they're, their needs. So, and all of it's on my website that we'll give out. Um, yeah. so I just put everything on there. I work with, um, I love working with other doctors, um, so that they can offer it to their patients. Um, but I'm kind of behind the scenes, you know, <laughs> so, uh, I think that working hand in hand, it shouldn't be, it's either this way or that way. It's like, let's, let's find how we can help the body naturally along with if there needs to be, you know, a, a medication or a surgery or something like that. Right. Right. Okay. And um, tell me more about the frequencies of the biometric medicine, because I really am you know, I'm all about that too, because it is you're raising your vibration. That's, that's when positivity and happiness and light comes into your life. And when you have that, when you have it, you can give it when you don't have it. it it's just like when your cup's not full enough, you don't have anything to pour out into other people. So it's all about right. growing that for you. Well, I'm a big believer in not uh, I don't hand out a lot of guilt, like, oh, you shouldn't be feeling that way, or oh, you shouldn't be eating that, or oh, you know, I think that we are, a lot of us are guilt ridden that we're not doing it right, or questioning, like, I should be happier, you know, um, I think with energy, if you're like, it's okay to have emotions, and if you embrace your emotion at that moment, and say, I'm okay, this is what I'm feeling at this time, and then it, knowing that it may not be um, the best emotion to hold on to for a long time, what can you do to bring yourself up just a little bit? You know, it doesn't have, you know, cause you gotta buy what you're selling. You know, right. like if you are, if your life's in the toilet, you're going through a divorce and you've lost your job, you're not gonna be able to sell yourself on, my life is perfect and I'm happy right. at, you know, in this moment. And it's like, no, that's a bunch of bull. I, right. you know, what's the next step you can do that you can swallow and then just stay there for a while. And then you, then maybe move up a little bit more, you know, and you'll feel success with that. So, yeah. but that's with the biocybernetic medicine or the, the cyber scan. Um, I got really sick, uh, a few years back and, uh, I could not eat. I, I was allergic to everything, everything that touched me, I smelled anything. My face was constantly swollen and uh, my body temperature was going down and it was just like a slippery slope. And I didn't know, I mean, I had tried the triad of health. I was doing all the structural, I was doing all the chemical, I was doing all the emotional, trying to find out what's, what I'm doing. It was, did all the lifestyle changes. 
And then that's when I started getting into having to open, you know, open up to the woo woo of uh, energy medicine. Yeah. And I was like, oh, wow, this stuff, there's something to this. And so sometimes it's not that it's woo woo. It is just that science has, we've not been able to scientifically prove why something works, but with quantum physics and um, things changing over, you know, moving where things are so um, imperceivable uh, that they're happening. Right. We're opening up to, well, what is possible? Right. The, like the horseless carriage, when that came out, people were like, oh, it's never going to work. The horseless carriage. Well, now we're talking about driverless cars. Exactly. So the game is changing and uh, realizations of things working that you're like, that can't possibly be. And that's what energy medicine, you know, why I do what I do now. Fantastic. Fantastic. And I totally believe, again, it, it's it's there. It's around us. We are all made up of energy. And, and that's just connecting, you said, to everything. There's vibrations in everything in and around us. And, and we are all part of that. And yeah. there's no ands, ifs, or buts. It's there. It's just to wrap our heads around the fact of, you know, let's try this. And be open-minded about it because the, if it has a benefit, a pos positive benefit, why not? Exactly. Right. That's right. what I think too. And more and more, you know, you have your, we have our ideas of like, oh, but sometimes when life hands you more than you can handle uh, and you're like, I've tried everything, I've exhausted my resources, then it's like, well, why not? Let's try it. Because I really had run out of options. But when you kind of go back to kind of junior high, uh, high school, kind of basic sciences, we are not a lot of matter. We are a lot of vibration. We are a lot of, um, you know, the, the cells of the body are mostly air, mostly space. And so when you start thinking about that, it's like a lot of us is just made up of energy. And that's how our cells communicate, too, is they vibrate. And so if, if there's a decrease in, in vibration, uh, and for some reason, like something has been affected, like you're, you're getting too many heavy metals and your body's trying to fight something and there's a decrease in how that's communicating to clear it out. Uh, if there's a decrease, it's not going to communicate well. And so it's not going to get the message through on what to do next. Right. So I like, you know, that's what I, I think uh, energy medicine for the cyber scan, the way I see it is it's helping the body to see where there's a decrease in communication. And then you can see it, you understand it, but then there's also, it, all it is, is you're just wearing a little card. <laughs> like a, you're just wearing a little credit card that's downloaded with the balancing frequencies that you need. It's not for the next guy. Like, you know, when people get radiation therapy, like uh, for prostate and they have to put the little seeds in. Right. That if you have somebody near you, that's going into them. Also, if you have like them, a child sit on your lap, um, you can't, you know, that's not safe. This is just direct. This is personally for you. Exactly. And so then it rebalances and kind of tunes your radio so that that communication yeah. is, is again going on. So it helps the body to help itself. I oh, like that. Yes. Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. So. Do you have any gifts for our viewers today, Dr. Jill? Well, on my website, I have a ton of information. If any okay. of this is, is interesting, you know, cyber scan, I work with pets as well, um, uh, the addiction, the chemotherapy, everything. Right. If all any of that sounds interesting, it's on my website. But what is also on there is um, a triad of health assessment. And then it will tell you where you may be out of balance on that triad. So that's all, that's all on there. My blood designer is always like, all right, can we, are you going to fit it? I don't know how we're going to fit anything else on here. <laughs> like, get it on. Yeah, there you go. Fantastic. So go ahead and share your website so that people can check it out. And then we'll, we'll put it down below too. It's um, Kintsugi, which is spelled K-I-N-T-S-U-G-I dash wellness.com. 
Thank you so much. And um, <laughs> yeah, so uh, for anybody who'd like to find out more about me, you can find out at Patricia Joe Grover com and I have gifts for everybody that has been with us today. If you text the word goal to 866-926-4020, I have the seven steps to goal achievement right there for you. So fantastic, Dr. Jill. It's been a pleasure having you with it us. It has been a pleasure. Thank and, you. And I really, you know, I know that there are people that watch that will be enjoying checking out your information and, and what you have to offer. So until if anybody has any questions, if anybody, I'm sorry. Oh, go ahead. If anybody has any questions, they can certainly just call. There's no charge for, you know, talking about it and seeing if, if anything is a fit for you. So fantastic. And until next time, again, the Patricia Joe Grover show is where we turn believers into achievers. We want you to believe that you are worthy, that you are capable, and you're not in this alone. Everybody has struggles, and it's it's uh, and it can be related to health. And health can affect our life in so many ways. And it's not just the physical health; it's mental health, you know, it's spiritual health, it's financial health, and all those things. So, thanks again, Dr. Jill, and we'll see you another time. <laughs>